question three. Well, we need to know that we're going to use quotient rule. So that's the first thing that you need to be able to spot. So just jot it down quickly. All right, again, it's in the formulae book. So V du minus u dv over v squared. What do I do on these? Remember, it's going to be it's u over v. What I do is I just write everything down that I know. So I know u is equal to 5x squared plus 10x, and I know that v equals x plus 1 squared. So let's write down du. Let's write down dv. So du, that's the easy one. We got 10x plus 10. And dv is going to be 2. And it's x plus 1. Like that. We obviously, you could write 2x plus 2 if you prefer. Right. Let's just write the whole thing down in terms of dy over dx and see what we get to. So we've got x plus 1 squared. We've got 10x plus 10. So that's du. So that's v, du. And then we're going to take away. And then we've got 5x squared plus 10x. So that's u. And then dv. And that's 2x plus 1. There we are. And all of that is over v squared. So that's x plus 1. So that's x plus 1 squared squared. So in other words, it's x plus 1 to the power of 4. OK, let's have a little look and see if we can tidy some things up. Well, if we look here, that's going to be 10 times x plus 1. So I could write just, oh, wait a minute, I've just spotted something else. Let's just cancel out one of the x plus 1. So let's just tidy up a little bit. So we've got x plus 1 times 10. And then there's another x plus 1 just here. So that's going to be squared. And then take away. And then we're going to have 2 times 5x plus 10x. And then all of that is over x plus 1 cubed. OK, I've cancelled one, this one here, say, and then this one here. All right. At this stage, where are we going to go from here? Well, let's just multiply out the top and, and see where that takes us. That seems to be the, the obvious thing to do. So if we multiply out this, right, don't be scared by it because... Let's just see what happens. So if I multiply x plus 1 squared, that's going to be x squared 2x plus 1. All of that multiplies by 10. And then we're going to take away 10x squared plus 20x. Oh, nearly made a mistake there. Remember, it's take away all of that. And then that's over x plus 1 cubed. OK, we're nearly there. Let's have a look to see what's going to happen at the top. We're going to get 10x squared, take away 10x squared. We're going to get 20x, take away 20x. So it's just going to leave me with 10 over x plus 1 cubed. So that's what dy over dx is. And just have a look at where it wanted me to get to. Yes, that makes sense. I'm happy with that. Now, on part b, it says, hence, deduce the range of values of x for when this can be less than 0, when dy over dx is less than zero. In other words, it's negative. Well, what would make it negative? It would be negative when this bit here is going to be negative. That's the only way we can get negative, because you've got 10 on the top. So on part b, it's when this part is going to be less than zero. So when x plus 1 has to be less than zero, take away 1 from both sides. So in other words, x has to be less than minus 1. Hurrah!